the sub. Members, any questions? Senator Byrd. I'm sorry to always have questions. Um, the AI part of this bill, I don't have any questions about, but um, I was completely unfamiliar with child sex dolls. So I had, of course, to Google it last night. Um, it's a little scared to put it in my search engine, but I did. And um, apparently, there is research on the subject. Not much, not much. But uh, there are what they call MAPS, Minor Attracted Persons. And the limited amount of research that's done on these dolls, guys, suggests that they actually, for people who are attracted to minors, that these dolls actually decrease their proclivity to go out and attack children, that it actually gives them a release that makes them less likely to go outside of their home. And, and what was interesting is the research did not support the same conclusions for people who were adult attracted using dolls. That did not diminish their proclivity to engage other people, but for those with, ch with the... So I'm just a little concerned that and, and and like I say, the research is not very good. It is not comprehensive, but the research that is out there is conclusive, uh, equivocally conclusive. I actually disagree, and I'll let Representative okay, respond thank if you. she'd like. We've got expert testimony who shared testimony by letter with this committee several years ago when I filed the bill and gave an updated letter to the representative uh, in support of her bill, which says the exact opposite. You want to respond? Yes, thank you. Um, thank you for the question. Um, in your packets, I'm not sure if it made its way in there, is a letter from Dr. Connor that supports, says something completely different. So Dr. Connor's very well respected, at least in Northern Kentucky, I think across the state. And he provides the um, uh, assessments for sexual offenders and reports back to the court. So for him to provide this letter and what he says it is actually, it's an escalation in behavior if you're using a child sex doll. And what we're really trying to do with the child sex doll and what we found is that our law enforcement needs something. So if there's a child sex doll, that didn't give them probable cause to get in the door to, to look at the phone or look at the computer or look at the pictures. This is going to give them a tool to get to the next step that they need in order to protect our children. But Dr. Connor's letter should be in there, um, and it's it's updated from 2024, and I talked to him before having I don't think it is in letter. members' folders, but oh. I'll make sure it's distributed today. Okay. Thank you. Because we have the updated letter. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Berg. Aye. Senator Carroll. Aye. Senator Deneen. Aye. Senator Neal. Aye. Senator Schickel. Aye. Senator Stivers. Senator Storm. Aye. Senator Turner. Aye. Senator Wheeler. Aye. Chair Westerfield. All right, bill passes with favorable expression unanimously at nine to nothing. Thank you, Representative. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. I appreciate the work you do. It's hard and difficult work, but it's important work, so I'm thankful.